Yep. Hey, why? Uh, we went to racial history, and then uh, what God made me have heard it said about the church. Um, so, at uh, first, I went to the fire. I just thought, um, uh, man, I told you, I'm fire. And the guy would be say, uh, <clears throat> what do you for to stay? Uh, and we just show him with ties to, uh, but we were all going to just, you know, I just went to my bed when I was from Herbert Hurtis about the church. I didn't know about the study and, uh, met Joey and moved with my church, you know, and I was with Pastor Mitch Hensley. Pastor Mitchell Hensley. And, yeah, I was with my pastor. Um, so I'm going to just, uh, uh, one more time I'm calling because, and, uh, it was Friday. This, is this Friday, we're yeah, going. Yeah. We are going to be. Yeah. I'm going to be speaking at a revival in Pool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, I'm the speaker for Friday night, and that is in Pool, Kentucky, at Shady Grove General Baptist Church. Do you want to say that? Yeah, I'm Shady Grove. Say Shady Grove. I didn't even say it right, Mitchell. Yeah. You say it. Okay. Spurs. We're going to be chanting about your church um, at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Um. Very oh, good to call him. Logan's the pastor of that church, right? Yeah, the pastor. Logan, the pastor. Logan. But we're talking about going to go on Friday. And Friday, going to check out. I'm going to be checking out by the church. It's Friday morning. And it's, it's not Friday morning, morning. It's Friday evening, 6 o'clock. So 6 like, p.m. So right, as the sun is right. going down. That's where we Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So here's what we want to do as we do this. Uh, Mitchell finally said, I want to be back on a... Bible study. He's so busy yes. all the time, aren't you? You doing your own Bible studies? Yes. Yes, you are. So I want you to know that we uh, didn't start off with music this time. Uh, so hopefully it will uh, still premiere. I've got it set up here where things are flashing on us. Uh, so we got to try to take some of those things off so it's not a distraction but welcome to henderson general baptist church uh you have those opportunities uh to stay faithful to god with his with your with god's tithes and your offerings a couple of different ways to do that uh sending it directly to the church uh sending it through uh email i mean through the uh, website and through text uh, I put those up. It's important for us to remember uh, that the ministry and missions outreach are so vitally important uh, that as we get the opportunity, you realize that you have an opportunity to share in the gospel presentation to other people. Uh, and it's not when we look at it, oftentimes we get to the place in our life as church members, uh, as churchgoers, as online campus. We go, well, we are doing that. Well, we did this. And then the reality is, did you do any of it? There is no we apart from you. So as I look at it and I see this, I'm going to constantly, and I've said it for years, we. But if I'm the only one doing it, then it's not a we. It only becomes a we when you get involved. Mm -hmm. There is so much more that God wants you to get involved in. And there's something that God is putting on your heart. So Mitchell, uh, I want you to think about as I put up from last week, I put that up full screen. I want you to be reminded of the, the, the outreach that is going on in India. I am so excited about this. There actually are some more pictures, but I didn't yeah. set them up uh, to be able to screen them out. Uh, and to do that, I didn't screen it out. Uh, because ultimately I want the safety of them to be there. So as we do this, Mitchell, I want us to pray for the opportunity. Uh, Yeah, we have the opportunity. You have the opportunity. And each week, each Mm -hmm. message, we're going to talk about the opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about the shoebox ministry again. Yeah, I know how to buy it. Yes, you got shoeboxes. We've been doing that. It's an important outreach that we are doing, but we are only involved if you join together. So we're going to look again at Ephesians chapter 2 verses 19 through 22 and we're not going to skip out of those verses i've been going away from those verses on wednesday to go deeper but i want to go over a couple of more things uh with that so mitchell if you would lead us in prayer pray 
for the ones that are joining us online who have a need of prayer. I want to tell you that you can send me a personal message. You can send me an email. You can send a, a direct message yeah. uh, through the church, through through my page, through uh, YouTube, through Instagram, through Twitter. I've got all kinds of different avenues. But if you have a specific need of prayer, uh, I, I want you to know that I'm praying for you. If you put in the in the chat, in the in the thing, comment. Just pray for me. Just let us know. Take that acknowledgement. But then ultimately, our job, our task, each time that Mitchell and I come together uh, and present this, is to help. We want to help you get closer, going deeper to grow stronger. And it is all about growing stronger in the Lord. So Mitchell, if you would, lead us in prayer. And we're going to spend about 10 minutes talking about Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. Okay? Go ahead, pray. Lord, we're going to say, we're going to stay. Lord, I pray you ask this for the church, baby. Lord, me and Joel, the Bible is already in the for 49. No, I you ask me, I and I suppose four years, you stronger than baby not. No, I've been in a hurry on now. There's many things from his hundreds of my church, and you, you're the Bible study. No, I ask him in your church, baby, you're stronger than the one who's possibly do. And my just name, Amen. So, before you go to 10 minutes, um, for the 22, 21, 29, 22. Uh, 19 through 22. <coughs> um, so, um, let me my partner with Go ahead, don't read. Uh, I know what to ask. 22, 21, 22, 22. Um, but make sure you have a screen. Uh, I, I, I think we just go and this is, and, uh, no, I want to talk about God. We should have to, before we try to do 22, 21, 22, and, uh, and I'm praying you have to read that out of the screen. Uh, You're going to read it off the screen? Yeah. And I, uh, I want us to know that as we look at uh, Ephesians chapter right. 2, verse 19, uh, I, I want you to see this picture that that is there. And the idea uh, is that so then you are no longer strangers and aliens. Mm-hmm. And there's this ideal of you're outside of the circle on the left side, but then you become inside the circle on the right. It is so important to me, uh, this idea, because I think about the one who's sitting right next to me uh, and the ideal of inclusion through school, inclusion or, or not in school and out of school. And, and where does he fit? Where does he fit? into the scenario of life is he included uh, and at Henderson General Baptist Church we look to to bring people closer to God but the reality is is that a majority of people are on the outside looking in and they've gotten so far away that they don't even see in anymore this circle that you see there this this inside influence uh, is no longer valid to them because they don't see how they can get in. Uh, for many of us, this works in the same way when it comes to ministry and missions outreaches in our churches. We have people who are now on the left side, they're inside, they're, they're coming to church, but they're not going into the inner circle, if you will, and, and being involved in ministry and missions outreaches. It becomes a place that you're still an outsider, though you're on the inside. So for us, as we look at this and we see it, I look and say, what what ministry and outreach opportunity does Mitchell have? What? What kind of ministry and missions outreach do you have? See, the Bible says, so now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners, outsiders. You are citizens along with all God's holy people. You are members of God's family. To be a member of a family means there's 
things that we do, we do it as a church. So when we join in and we say something about, well, Henderson General Baptist Church, we do this. What ministries does the church have? Well, we give those ministries. We talk about those ministries. But these ministries that I say that we do, there's only that we if you're involved. That doesn't mean that you're supposed to be involved in every single ministry outreach because it's impossible for any one person to do it all. And and there's a calling on our life. But when we're not doing, when you are not doing anything, and I'm saying you, maybe you are. And if you are, keep doing it. The idea is, is that now we want to look and see how is it that other people can find purpose and meaning in life because of Henderson General Baptist Church. What are we doing as a church, we as a whole, that says it's not just about one or two individuals and their concerns, but it's about the betterment of making sure we do one thing really, really well. What is that one thing that we want to do really, really well? I skip ahead and I look at Acts chapter 20, verse 24. But my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. I'm looking for the people. That's the goal. That we can share the gospel message, the good news of Jesus Christ, that whenever they hear the word gospel, they, they understand something more about that, that they realize that, yes, they used to be an outsider. I was an outsider. I was a stranger when it come to be in the family of God. But now, because of what Jesus Christ has done, we are members of his body. The reality is, is that if we are doing something, does that mean Mitchell's got to do something too? Yes. Yes, it does. Absolutely. But you ain't made a bender. Hmm? Uh, bender. Absolutely. So when yeah. we look at this, it goes on and says in verse 20, together, together, we are his house built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets and the cornerstone is Jesus or Christ Jesus himself. I spent a lot of time on Sunday talking about the cornerstone and I may spend just a few moments here talking about it, but you can see that again uh, in the previous uh, sermon on Sunday. You can find it on this Facebook page. Yeah. You can find it on YouTube, but the cornerstone yeah. is important. Yeah. It's your coping mechanism. What are you coping with? But what I want us to see is this ideal of together. Yet this ideal of together, we are his house and we're built on this foundation. I hear it today about people going, well, I love tradition. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't love tradition. You love your tradition. You love what you know. Tradition takes us all the way back to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, saying the very foundation of everything. So to think that we're going to do things the way the church did is not what you're really saying. Many times what our upsetness is or what our desire is, is am I going to feel good about the moment and have to do the less, least amount of stuff? This together takes effort. Mm -hmm. Mitchell works together with me, which means that I have to be patient with him and he has to be patient with me. Is that right? Do you love me? Yeah. Yeah. Am I a great dad? Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> are you a great son? Yeah. Yes, you are. But I mean, I'm not. Do you have a love for God? Do we show more love for God when we work together? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this love of God, this, this house of God, this idea of being outsiders is, is now are we, as Henderson General Baptist Church, are you, as a member of Henderson General Baptist Church, are you, as a, a, a part or a joiner in on these online services that I give through Henderson General Baptist Church, are you looking to say, now I am building together i am working together with someone else or is it still that lone ranger mentality that i go it alone i don't need anybody but the reality is is even the lone ranger needed people what? and what we see is is that that this this idea 
of the Lone Ranger, the I can do this on my own, just doesn't simply go with the Word of God. Yeah. We need each other, and the we, I, I know I'm emphasizing this, but you we got to see this. The church is only a we when you do your part. It, it is no we if you're not doing it. So you can say, well, our church does this or our church does that, or I give tithes and offerings, and, and, and so therefore anything that happens is through me. Yes, tithes and offerings are important, but what's really important is, is saying, are we building on the foundation of the apostles? Are we building on the foundation of the prophets? Are we using Jesus Christ as the cornerstone of everything we say and everything that we do? Are you using Jesus as the cornerstone? Because see, ultimately Paul goes on and he says, we are carefully joined together in him. Becoming a holy temple for the Lord. The only way there is a we in that is when we set aside our political differences, when we set aside our socioeconomic status, when we set aside the nationalities, when we set aside uh, our countries, when we set aside uh, the, the color of our skin, when we set aside male and female, when we set those things aside and we carefully are joined together with him, that it says no matter special needs, no special needs, beautiful hair no hair uh, yeah it doesn't matter those things don't oh, really boy. matter but the reality is in our current day culture that we live we're not being carefully joined together anymore and we think it's okay the join together is important and that means in all areas of life that when we get together in a small group and we, and we have yeah. Sunday school time or we have a small class or we have special events that we do certain things that it's about coming together and knowing that there is no we if you aren't there. Yeah, we're not there, Rick. It's for the time we were in the middle of grade school and we made a new walk group. She was in the middle of the hardest by the church. It was in my youth group. You want, hey, you go to youth group at Henderson General Baptist Church, don't you? Yes. And if you're not there, is there a we? Yes. No, there's not a we if you're not there. There's yeah, I guess there is a we. They have a we, but are you a part of the we? Yeah. You aren't a part of the we unless you're there, right? Yeah. So are you going to be at the Henderson General Baptist Church youth group? Yes. Yes, and when you show up, you participate and when you participate, the you becomes a we. 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 But if I get in my truck and I take off and I say, Mitchell's my son, uh, and we went to, to McDonald's, but he wasn't in there and I didn't buy him anything and he didn't know anything about it, is he a part of the we? He's not a part of the we. Yeah, we did. We actually, we actually did wash the truck yesterday when we left the church and, and we went and washed the truck and then we went to, to McDonald's and, and got you a couple of cheeseburgers, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. So that become a we. See, he was a part of it. And unless you're a part of it, you can say that I'm a part of something. But if you're not involved, that, that's where we're really going this year. Ultimately, is, is that if I'm going to go deeper, to grow stronger, that means that I'm going to be involved in ministry. And the ultimate ministry of my life and in your life and in our lives is that in my life, your life, can you say those words? My life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. Are you a part of that? Are you telling someone about the good news of Jesus Christ? Or are you saying, no, I send my tithes and offerings in and the preacher does that. That's his job. It, it's not my job to tell your friends and to tell your family, it's yours. You are a part of that we, but it only becomes part of that we when you become involved. He finishes this chapter up and he says, through him, you Gentiles are also being made part of this dwelling where God lives by his spirit. Are you living your life so that you can now help others be a part of the dwelling where God lives by His Spirit. Ultimately, Mitchell wants to invite people to church. Yeah, I, I want to invite people to church. So church? Mitchell, let's try this. Oh. 
try inviting them. Let's go full screen. Let's try inviting them. Uh, there you go. Hit the solo button. No, you got to hit the button right above it. There you go. Right above it. You see the solo coming up right there? There you go. Now, I want you to invite them to join us at Shady Grove General Baptist Church Friday night yeah. for revival. So, so we're going to get a good shake, right? right? Yep, at so, yeah. six o'clock. Tell them six o'clock. Invite them. Let's okay. let's try it. Okay, we're going to get a good shake. Okay, we're going to get a shake. A pastor of Arkansas. Logan is the pastor. He's my nephew. So, I'm going to test. 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 I'm going to and we're going to talk about some of that purpose and how it is as a church, as an individual, yeah. and what God is calling you to today. So, Mitchell, if you would, let us end in prayer. You want to end in prayer? Uh, yeah. And also, don't forget, oh. let's remind them. Let's go ahead and do one more reminder. Right here. Uh, yeah, let me pull it up. Let me see where it is. You may miss right here. I don't see it. I right don't. There. No, it's not there. I must have taken it down. Uh, oh, but we want to invite them to join us on Sunday morning at our church. There it is. Facebook and YouTube live. Yeah, I mean, So not. we got two options now. It, they will both be live. Just like this goes through Premiere on Facebook and YouTube at 6 p.m. On Sundays, it will go live. Uh, I'm really, really praying about how we do Wednesday yeah. night with me doing in-person and online uh, and seeing how we can reach more people with the good news of Jesus in areas of life that they need uh, help with and desire help with. I want to help people grow closer to God. I want to help people go deeper so they can grow stronger. Uh, that is my calling on my life this year uh, and one in which I want everyone to be involved in ministry. Each person, does that involve money? Yes, but it involves my yeah. time, yeah. Uh, my talents, and my treasures. So Mitchell, if you would, uh, dismiss us in prayer uh, from this Bible study. Uh, and I encourage you to take a moment to evaluate where you are in your ministry and your missions outreach for the glory of God. Go ahead, Mitchell. Do I, uh, I be praying, do I, uh, no, may thank you stay. You are so in you, but may Jordan is so in you for and a call for you deep, thank God. No, I ain't watching. I'm even gonna shake right here. You wanted to test me, you know. If it worries me, may Jordan on you talk about. You should forward to me on Friday. But I didn't know I did. I just we got back home. She's just going along with her. Um, we have perfect times, and, but mom and dad, uh, and it was forward to me in the credits, but I made a job. Great, 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 great. And we don't want it, which we want. But we did want to just bring the youth group, you know, like a church family. Um, you know, we might just pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Mitchell. You want to tell them bye and see you later? Right now? Yeah, right now. We're done. Okay. Thank you so much today. Uh, I, I'm so excited. We did a great girl Friday. Um, I, I did a great girl. Um, but I'll get the call back. I'm going to call back. Um, she did her heart of us. And, you know, but it was only my son. I think one of the calls is, you know, it's her me. Jesus. It's a church family. Before we see you and your week. And we hey, and see you on Sunday morning at Henderson. So you got two more things, right? Yeah. All right, do it to it.